foreigner, when the specialist had done all they could do, the Lord can take over and go farther than the specialist hand. When man has gone to his limit, has reached his limit, and has done all he can do, that's when the Lord steps in and works a miracle. A man cannot work a miracle. A doctor can't work a miracle. But God can work a miracle. A miracle is a supernatural manifestation of the power of God. A miracle is divine. It's divine. A miracle is a divine thing. It's a God thing. A miracle is not just limited to the healing of the body. It's more than that. A miracle is a wonder. When God works a miracle, it causes people to wonder, how did God do that? Wow, how did that happen? How did that take place? It's God. It's God. A miracle is a wonder. People say, how did God do that? A miracle is when only God gets the glory. Man had nothing to do with it. It's humanly impossible. It's a miracle. It's beyond human reasoning. It's beyond human capability. It's beyond human power. That's what a miracle is. And you know what? The whole trinity is involved in miracles. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, all three of them works miracles. All three of them are in the miracle working business. Creation was a miracle of God. God worked a miracle. When he created the heavens and the earth, it was a miracle. When he parted the Red Sea, when he blasted it from his nostrils, and he parted the Red Sea, and three and a half million Israelites crossed over on dry ground, and when they got to the other side, and Pharaoh and his army come down the middle, and God brought the waters together, and drown Pharaoh and drown Pharaoh's army and Sister Miriam grabbed her tambourine and she went to dancing on the banks of the Red Sea and it rubbed off on the other sisters of Israel and they grabbed their tambourines and they had an old fashioned a Holy Ghost camp meeting on the banks of the Red Sea and began to sing the Lord had triumphed gloriously he has drowned the red horse rider in the sea and the Lord triumphed it was a miracle I said it was a miracle when God made Balaam still speak it was a miracle and he cocked his head back at Balaam and said Balaam yeah. I'm going to tell you anything that can make a mule talk is a miracle yeah. amen, amen. Yeah. hallelujah God's in the miracle business when he went into the fiery furnace and he called the flames and protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and the king said, come out of there and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego come out and the Bible's clear to point out that not a, head of the, a hair of the head was sin, neither the smell of smoke of the diamond. I want to tell you it was a miracle. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Jesus, not only God the Father, but Jesus the Son, he worked miracles. Bible said right here, this beginning of miracle, John 2, 23, said when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles, which he did. I don't know about you, but I believe it's about time we see some more miracles in the church. We need a revival of miracles. Come on, somebody. I'm going to tell you, we need God to come down in this day and time and work miracles for his people and work miracles for his children and work miracles for the body of Christ. I'm going to tell you, he can still do it and he still is doing it. John 3, 1 and 2. So there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. In John 6 and 2, it said, and a great multitude followed him because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were to see. I want to tell you that God the Father worked miracles. Jesus the Son worked miracles and the Holy Ghost worked miracles himself. Somebody said, what miracle did the Holy Ghost work? Well, in the beginning, even before the beginning, when the world was chaos and the world was confusion and the waters covered the face of the earth, the Bible said the Spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the waters and brought cosmos 
Sally. Hey, ha, ha. Oh, hallelujah. And when Jesus was in Mary, was in Mary's belly, or was getting ready to be formed in Mary's belly, and then the angel of the Lord appeared to Mary and said, Thou art highly favored in the sight of God, and God had chosen you to be the vessel to bring forth his son into the world. And Mary said, How can this thing be? I've never known a man. I've never touched a man. I've never had an affair with a man. How can this thing be? And the angel said, The Holy Ghost shall come upon you, and you shall conceive and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. The Holy Ghost worked miracles. Now Paul said that the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, these nine gifts of the Spirit are a product of the Holy Ghost. They're gifts of the Spirit. And he said the Holy Ghost works miracles, not miracle, miracles, plural. So Paul tells us right there in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 that the Holy Ghost is in the miracle ministry. God the Father is in the miracle ministry. Jesus is in the miracle ministry. And the Holy Ghost, woo, hallelujah, is in the miracle ministry working miracles. Well, what kind of miracles do they work? Well, number one, they work external miracles, physical miracles, miracles of healing. Amen. The Lord said to me this morning, he said, expect a miracle. I said, Lord, right here I am. I'm ready. I'm ready. You know what the Lord told me? The Lord told me to come right here in this pulpit this morning and to tell this church, expect a miracle. To tell you people, expect a miracle. Expect a miracle. God has got a miracle with your name on it. Come on. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, I want you to even tell some. There are going to be some there this morning that I'm going to give them a 24-hour miracle. They're going to see a miracle within 24 hours. Something they've been praying about. Something they've been fasting about. Something they've been believing me for. He said, I want you to tell somebody there. I don't know who it is. I can't point you out. Don't know who it is. But the Lord told me somebody in this building is going to get a 24-hour miracle. God's going to give you a miracle in the next 24 hours. I hope it's me. I say, Lord, I'm ready. Lord, right here. Pour right here. Lord, give it right here. Jay Walden ready for the 24 hour miracle. Are you ready this morning? Are you ready? Do you need a miracle? Have you been praying for a miracle? Somebody get ready. I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. I'm just the mailman. He's the postman. I'm the mailman. I'm delivering the message. Somebody. Somebody. When it happens, call me. When it happens, call me. This ain't coming from Jay Walden. This is coming from the Lord. He said, somebody's going to get a 24-hour miracle. Man, I feel that, don't you? I believe that's what Brother Dave was feeling this morning. Yeah. He didn't know what it was, and I don't know what it is. I feel like God. I don't know if it's a physical miracle, financial miracle, spiritual miracle, emotional, but I know the Lord works external miracles. He works physical miracles. Blind Bartimaeus' eyes, he healed. Is that right? So he healed his eyes. The man that had the crippled feet, the Lord healed his feet. Hey, man, he healed eyes, he healed feet. The man with the withered hand, the Lord said, stretch forth your hand. And the man that had the withered hand, he stretched it forth. And the Bible said it was healed. So there we see the Lord healed hands. Oh, Sister Lorinda, when I was studying this this morning, and about that man with the withered hand, oh, I said, Lord, I said, our pastor's wife, Sister Lorinda, she's been playing that organ for years. She plays it so gracefully. She plays it so beautifully. But more than that, she plays it anointed. It's anointed playing. And I said, Lord, I said, what you've done 2,000 years ago, you can do it for Sister Lorinda this morning in that service. You can heal that carpal tunnel. You can heal that with tendonitis or whatever. He said, how many believe the Lord can heal Sister Lorinda's hands? I believe the Lord can heal just like he did that man. And Brother Terry, the Lord healed Brother Terry, had surgery, and he's already walking around. He's already getting around without a cane, without a walker, without a wheel. I want to tell you.